Okay, so now in this video, we will continue with the same idea that we had in the previous video, meaning large and small numbers in practical measurement. In the previous video, we talked about measuring length or distance. And we, we had essentially a couple of units like the centimeter, the millimeter, the meter, the kilometer. Now, if you go to the market and if you want to buy, for example, rice, or you want to write, you want to buy, for example, wheat or something like that, then you would ask the shopkeeper to give you, for example, one kg rice, meaning one kilogram of rice. One kg is usually used in India, basically, of course. Um, one kilogram of rice or for example two kilograms of potatoes and so on and so forth right so so essentially one kilogram of potatoes would be around for example five six potatoes one kilogram of rice would be around i don't know a small bag of rice or something like that right but uh, but then now this is essentially when you when you say for example one kilogram of rice or two kilograms of potatoes it you're actually telling the shopkeeper to give you a, a a a specific amount of something meaning you essentially you're measuring the mass of something meaning for example the mass of the mass means essentially how much basically how much stuff is in something meaning that the more stuff that it is in something the heavier it becomes and of course the more mass it has of course right now this kilogram and again basically the the measurement that you use here is one kilogram so one kilogram is as essentially a number and again a unit the number being for example a one a two or whatever the unit would be, for example, in this case, a kilogram, right? Now, the when but but essentially there are cases in in which you want to buy, for example, something like, for example, ginger. Something like, for example, ginger or chilies, right? When you buy ginger or chilies, ginger is essentially something that you don't need. I mean, usually, essentially, you don't need much of. For example, a, a small amount of ginger would be more than enough for a couple of days, right? So then you, when you go to the shopkeeper, you would ask the shopkeeper to give you, for example, 200 grams of, for example, ginger. Or, for example, 100 grams of, for example, chilies or something like that right <clears throat> now you see that essentially this essentially 200 grams of ginger would be for example if you were to to the same measurement if you were to express it in kilograms you would say 0 0.2 for example kilograms but then it's not customary to go to the to the shop and ask the shopkeeper to give you 0 0.2 kilograms of ginger it it just not not i mean this is not the kind of thing that people use in speaking especially when you go when 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 they go to shop basically or for example a hundred grams of chilies would be 0 0.1 for example kilograms of chilies but then when you go to the shop you simply say 100 grams please right so then again your measurement over here meaning that in essentially whenever it is customary or easier to use grams you don't use kilograms and then in this case for example if you were to uh, essentially normally essentially go to the shop and ask for one kg or one kilogram of rice but then for example one kilogram of rice would be um would be the same thing as 1000 grams of rice so then you i mean normally you don't go to the shop and ask the shop the shopkeeper to give you 
a thousand grams of rice or for example 2500 grams of rice which would be for example two and a half, two and a, two and a half kilos of rice basically right so which essentially this essentially means that when you when it is whenever it is i mean whenever it is customary or easier to use for example kilograms you would use kilograms whenever it is customary to use grams you would use grams and then of course there is for example and, and essentially when it comes especially to medicine when it comes to medicine you don't um, I mean, on the on the medicine bottle, there is usually a label that says, for example, 50 milligrams. For example, 50 milligrams would be a very small amount of something, or essentially a very small mass of something. And for example, 50 milligrams of anything, of being essentially the thing being a medicine or spices or whatever it might be, it's not going to be at all heavy or anything you can just put it on the on your hand and then on the palm of your hand and it's it's not going to be heavy at all 50 milligrams or or 100 milligrams right so um so then basically what what this means is that um so essentially for for essentially for medicine of course it's not going to be i mean it's not going to be useful to put a large amount of medicine in 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 essentially in a large bottle for example because nobody is going to be able to use it usually when you need medicine you need a small bottle and that that would be enough for your essentially for your illness and then after your your, your illness goes away then of course the medicine is not going to be used anymore so a large amount of medicine is not going to be useful for anybody for the same purpose that small amount of medicine is packed into a small bottle and that and then the, the mass of that bottle if you essentially if you weigh it it's going to be essentially for example 50 milligrams which is now 50 milligrams is basically is nothing but um is essentially what that means is essentially 50 into 10 raised to the power negative 3 grams which is the same thing as essentially 50 times 1 over a thousand grams which is the same thing as 50 over a thousand grams which is the same thing as 5 over a hundred grams which means essentially it's five it's essentially five hundredth of a gram meaning for example if you know what 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 one gram is then um, then basically then if you divide that gram into essentially 100 equal parts essentially this mass would be five of those parts put together right so that that's that's basically that okay so so then again basically in in essentially in these in in these in these different cases as you can see um, in these different cases as you can see somewhere you use for example a kilogram somewhere you use a gram and somewhere you use a milligram so different basically um, different units are going to be used in different types of situations right now so this case essentially all of essentially for the past nine ten minutes we were talking about essentially expressing that the the, the 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 amount of rice or the wheat or the ginger or the chili that you want meaning expressing the mass of those those objects basically right so which means that essentially we were talking about the idea of mass the idea of mass or how heavy something is basically and so in this case basically we have different units we have for example the kilogram we have the gram we have the milligram and so on and so forth right so that's that's another idea here and of course and and then and then essentially later on i'm going to show you how you can 
how you can basically convert essentially these different units together meaning how you can go from centimeters to millimeters to or to meters or to kilometers and vice versa or how you can go from kilograms to grams or milligrams and so on and so forth okay now another idea that we have here is the idea of volume and of course uh, <clears throat> and of course one thing about all of these ideas that we um, discuss here meaning numbers and units and um, measurement and um, all of these things essentially they are they are very useful in your in your day-to-day -day life if you <coughs> if you not just look at them as as basically some examination that you want to pass and then some degree that you want to to take or or or, or things like that if you <coughs> if you understand essentially these ideas they are going to help you um in many different ways essentially in your day-to-day -day life for example if you have suppose that you have a bucket of that you have a bucket for example normally essentially in a bucket you have some amount of liquid for example water and then for example the soft drinks that you buy for example in in a supermarket the soft drink comes essentially in a cylinder shape it's a small cylinder and it if you take a look at essentially on the on the on the on the body of the cylinder it says for example something like 330 ml <coughs> meaning 330 milliliters or for example then you want to know um, you want to know for example um, or essentially a bucket for example takes around 10 liters of water and then you want to know how many of these um, how, how many of these small soft drinks you need in order to fill a, comp a, a whole bucket the, essentially this whole bucket with essentially with the drink or things like that so that that's essentially and these are essentially practical problems that you're going to need to solve in your day-to-day -day life of, of course so understanding these apart from the examination is going to help you with solving these types of problems and then of course once you're um, able to solve these types of basic problems using science and mathematics and the different facts that you know from from essentially from different places then um, i mean generally you're going to be more successful in your day-to-day -day life of course right so um now the idea of volume is a is a very is essentially a simple idea that means essentially how much space you have in something for example in a bucket for example a bucket like this you have you have for example a bucket like this and you use the bucket in order to you fill water into into the bucket and then for example you use it for washing the the floor or for example you use it for taking a bath for different purposes of course right now a bucket essentially normally you know that for example a bucket takes for example something like 10 liters of water right so what is the meaning of this of this 10 liters of water what does it mean um or essentially along the same uh, essentially along the same ideas would be for example if you had instead of the bucket if you had for example a cube right now that not not an exact cube because because essentially a cube means that by definition it means that basically all the sides of the a cube is just some something essentially like a box basically right so that's a three-dimensional solid or is a three-dimensional basically object basically right um, um, a cube essentially means by definition that all the sides of the cube meaning for example this side and this side and this side 
are all of the same exact length basically meaning that if this side is for example 10 centimeters this is supposed to be also 10 centimeters this is also supposed to be 10 centimeters which then means that all the sides of the all the sides meaning even for example this side or even this side and so on and so forth every side is the exact same length namely for example 10 centimeters right now let's imagine that that we have this 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 three-dimensional shape and it's not exact an exact cube meaning that the lengths are different meaning something like a box that you use in order to pack your stuff things like that so meaning that it's not in the exact shape shape of a cube like a it's it's a cuboid okay so then basically let's say that this side over here is 10 centimeters the length the length over here is 20 centimeters the length over here is for example 15 centimeters right then then what is going to be the volume of this cube and then how many of this of this of uh, essentially if you fill this this pocket with completely with 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 water then how many of these of these buckets can you of essentially how many bucketfuls of this of this of this bucket could you fill into this into this in the, into this cube basically right meaning that how many times could you fill this this bucket with water and then fill into the fill into the cube and then keep doing the same thing how many times could you do that so so then what is the volume of this cube the volume of this cube would be essentially um, would be essentially this side which is for example that is the volume that would be essentially a 10 centimeters times this side which is for example 15 centimeters times the height which is 20 centimeters which is the same as essentially um, what is 20 times 15 that's a 300 uh, 20 times 15 is 30 times essentially a zero that's 300 times a 10 that would be 3000 and which means that essentially you would write this as a 10 times a 15 times a 20 and then centimeter 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 would be cubic centimeter which is a unit of volume basically right and then we saw that essentially this is the same as 30 times that's a 300 that's a 300 cubic centimeter so that's 2 times 15 is 30 a zero here and a zero here that's 30,000 cubic centimeter right now what is a 3,000 cubic centimeter essentially if you if you were to compare that with the with the with the um, volume of the of the of the of the of the bucket you would have to have this unit basically in liters right now what is the relationship between cubic centimeter and liter for example that is um, um, that is basically we know that essentially a thousand cubic centimeters is the same as one liter right so then if you do the calculation so a 3000 3000 cubic uh, essentially a thousand cubic centimeters would be one liter which means that 3000 cubic centimeters would be three times one liter which is three liters right and then now with, with the information that we have since we know that essentially the volume of this cube is three liters then we know that and and since we know that the, the volume of this cube is 10 liters then you know that so something around for example one third of the of the bucket you can fill into the cube and then there is no space left essentially in the cube right so then you can you can see that you can see that essentially even in essentially in these in these different cases again you use uh, 
uh, you use different types of units meaning that you use for example cubic centimeter or if you had for example another another um, um, cube in the case of which for example the side lengths were for example one meter two meter for example and uh, and for example three meters so one meter this is one meter this is two meter and this is three meters and the volume would be then the volume would be one meter times two meters times for example three meters which is the same thing as essentially one times two times three which is the same thing as six meter times meter times meter is cubic meter so then the volume of the cube would be six cubic meter which is again another unit for volume basically right so you have the cubic meter you have the, the cubic centimeter you have the you have the um, for example the leader all of these different units you use for volume so you have the leader you have the cubic meter you have the you have the you have the cubic centimeter you have the cubic meter and so on and so forth Right. Now, now you see that the question that arises here is how you can basically now essentially there is only these three entities that we wanted to talk about. There is only length or distance. There is the mass and there is the volume, and we know that essentially the units for these we, for for length distance we use. For example, centimeter, millimeter, meter, or kilometer. For mass, we use, for example, ki kilograms, grams, or milligrams. For volume, we use, for example, cubic meter, cubic centimeter, or the liter, basically. Which is, essentially, liter is the same as cubic centimeter, meaning, essentially, it's just a definition, meaning for the, that, essentially, a cubic centimeter, a, a thousand cubic centimeter would be one liter meaning that it's not different from cubic centimeter or or essentially from the cubic meter basically and one thing that you see here is that in centimeter essentially you have the meter in millimeter you have the meter in in the meter of course there is the meter itself in kilometer again there is the meter so the, what what is common here is the meter when it comes to mass, then you have the kilogram that has the gram. Then you have essentially the gram, which is again, the gram is, is in the gram, of course. And then the milligram, again, contains the gram. So then over here we have essentially the gram, basically. Or basically when it comes to the volume, you have the liter, which is nothing but just thousand cubic centimeters so you can forget about this but then cubic centimeter contains cubic meter and again cubic meter then again it it of course the cubic meter is there itself right so over here you have the cubic meter right and then in all of these instances you have this you have essentially over here you can see that you have the centi you have the milli you have the kilo again over here you have the kilo you have the milli and over here you have the centi and then of course it's, it's of course possible to have cubic millimeters as well so then you would have or, or cubic or cubic um, kilometer as well which would be essentially a large container so then again, you see that you have the, the kilo here, the meter, the, the milli here. You have the centi here. Again, you, you could have the milli here. You could have the kilo here. So these three keep repeating in all of these different types of units. You have the centi, the milli, and the kilo. And now the question is, um, how can you how can you essentially go from one unit to another unit? meaning that for example in the case of the diff of the distance between for example karnataka and new delhi we said that it's around 1850 for example kilometers 
and we know that and 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 essentially if we want to know what that is essentially in meters we can essentially we can write it as one eight five zero 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 in meters right so that is essentially one million eight hundred fifty thousand meters which is the same as eighteen fifty kilometers and then essentially and then essentially then what is what is this distance essentially in centimeters then it's it's going to be um it's going to be essentially um it's going to be essentially one eight five zero 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 two zeros i add here in centimeters which is essentially 185 million centimeters right so so as you can see as i change the essentially if i as i go from kilometers to meters to centimeters the number is increasing is is getting larger and larger so that's 1850, 1850. This is 1,850,000. This is 185 million, right? Or the same thing you could do here, meaning that, for example, what is if you have a if you have a, a kilogram, then that would be essentially, for example, a thousand grams, or a, or or for example, a thousand milligrams would be one gram. So how do I essentially make conversions between these for example i want to know that for example a container is a thousand cubic centimeters what is that in cubic meters right so in order to do these types of conversions we will essentially we will deal with these types of conversions in the next video now that we know essentially about all of these kind of prefixes and the basic units and all of those then we can essentially use this information in order to be able to convert for example how many milligrams make one kilogram and essentially questions like this we can answer in the next video thank you